Yet they say, Yet they, they say, the Lord shall not see. The Lord shall not see. Neither shall the God of Jacob regard it. Neither shall the God of Jacob regard it. Understand ye brutish among the people. Understand ye brutish among the people. And ye fools. And ye fools. When will ye be wise? When will ye be wise? He that planted the ear. He that planted the ear. Shall he not hear? Shall he not hear? He that formed the eye. He that formed the eye. Shall he not see? Shall he not see? He that chastises the heathen. He that chastises the heathen. Shall not he correct? Shall not he correct? He that teaches man knowledge. He that teaches man knowledge. Shall not he know? Shall not he know? The Lord knoweth the thoughts of man. The Lord knoweth the thoughts of man. That they are vanity. That they are vanity. Blessed is the man. Blessed is the man. Whom thou chastenest. Whom thou chastenest. O Lord, o Lord, and teaches him out of thy law, and teaches him out of thy law, that thou mayest give him, that thou mayest give him rest from the days of adversity, rest from the days of adversity, until the pit be digged, until the pit be digged for the wicked, for the wicked. Our scripture reading is taken from Psalms ninety-four, verses seven through thirteen. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and doing of His holy word. In Jesus' holy and blessed name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Welcome to the House of Jacob Bible Study class. Today's lesson: Wisdom understanding, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Teaching today's lesson is Brother Samson. Here's Brother Samson. Thank you, Brother, for the reading of the scripture and the introduction. You know, sisters and brothers, uh, knowledge is information. And this knowledge or information with understanding makes you wise. And what could be more wise or more, have more knowledge and more understanding that makes you wise than the words of God and those words that are able to give you eternal life if you walk in it. What greater wisdom is that? Things that we know many people desire to know. And they don't have a clue. So we're going to get into this and we're going to start this off in Proverbs first chapter. Proverbs 1. And we're going to pick it up at verse 1. Let's see what this proverb is supposed to do. Proverb 1 and 1. When you get it, go ahead, bro. The Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel. To know wisdom and instruction, to receive the words of understanding. To know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding, go ahead. To receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, and judgment, and equity. To give subtlety to the simple, to the young man, knowledge and discretion. Look, to give subtlety to the simple, to the young man, knowledge and discretion. This wisdom and this knowledge and this un and understanding this wisdom and this knowledge, it will make you to be discreet about things on how you go about doing things. Just a uh, no more than 45 minutes ago, we arrived in, and Brother Ben and I was just talking to Katie. And he's just letting them know that the, the word, it will save your life. Amen. It will keep you out of trouble. Absolutely. By these instructions, it can actually keep you away from danger. Because certain things you ain't going to do. Right. The word of God covers how a man, male and female, should walk. Right. And so it can save you a lot of headache if you follow these instructions. Right. Go ahead. A wise man will hear. A wise man will hear. A wise man will hear. Go ahead. And will increase learning. And increase learning. Not what he thinks. 
not what he done drank up or anything else. A wise man will hear. The Lord is constantly telling us, hear, hear, hear. Listen to me. Go ahead. And a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. To understand a proverb and the interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Look, the fear of the Lord. How can you just go off on your own thing? That means you don't fear the Lord. Don't fear. But it say here, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Amen. People often tell me, how can you serve a God that you don't fear? How can you go get a job and work on a job and show up on time and do just what they say? Because you feel you're going to get fired. You, Your you God will be the same you. way. If Amen. you don't do what he say, he's going to put you in the fire. Thank you. That's simple enough. Amen. <laughs> Read that verse 7 again. Amen. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Fools despise wisdom and instructions, y'all. This book is the word of God, and these are instructions on how we should live. If you despise this, you are a fool. That's right, brother. We read the book. This is not my personal opinion about this thing. I just want to make that clear. We all reading this together. And it said, for fools despise wisdom and instruction. Mm -hmm. Skip on down to verse 20. Wisdom cries without. She utters her, her voice in the streets. She cries in the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gates. In the city she utters her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? Simplicity and the scorn is delight in the scorning, and fools hate knowledge. They hate it. They hate it. That's why when you try and take this word, people, you just want to read them something real simple that the Lord say, Don't do this. They don't want to hear nothing you gotta say. But you are trying to get them to see. This is what they need to obtain eternal salvation. That's it. But they hate it. Fools hate knowledge. Amen. Amen. So, fools hate knowledge. Let's go on right over here to Proverbs, the second chapter. Let's see how important this wisdom is. Proverbs 2 and 1. When you get it, go ahead. My son, if thou wilt receive my words and hide my commandments with thee, so that thou incline thy ear to wisdom and apply thy heart to understanding. Look, my son, if thou wilt receive my words yeah. and hide my commandments yeah. with thee, so that thou incline thine ear unto wisdom. Mm -hmm. He is telling you to hear what he is saying through these words. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. That's all he ever told you to do is listen, listen. and obey. Thank you. Go ahead. Yeah, if thou criest after knowledge, and liftest up thy voice for understanding. Look, you ought to be searching out this knowledge. These are the keys to the kingdom. Yeah. You should be searching this knowledge out. Amen. The word of God will cut through any and every false doctrine out there. Thank you. It ain't a doctrine that can withstand no. somebody that got some understanding Amen. in this book Amen. that can hold up. I ain't seen them yet. And my teachers ain't seen them yet. So we looking at 50 plus years. The Lord is betting a thousand, in other words. Go ahead. If thou seekest her as silver and searches for her as for hid treasures. You ought to be seeking after this. As silver, as hidden treasures. This is how precious this word of God is, y'all. Go ahead. Then shall thou understand the fear of the Lord. Then shall thou understand the fear of the Lord. You want to know what? Because when you read this book and you searching this out, you find out what the Lord don't like and what he do like. What does please him and what does not please him. Amen. And you will do the things that please him if you fear him. But if you don't fear him, 
then he gonna do to you what he say he gonna do to you. Jesus. But fools hate not. Amen. Amen. The Lord has come up throughout this whole book. All he is telling you over and over again, this is what you need to do mm -hmm. to receive eternal life and come into the kingdom and be in God's family. That's all he's saying all over again. Right, right. And all the examples that are written in here to show you what not to do and what to do. Mm -hmm. One of the things is when they moved the Sodomites out of the land, the book say it pleased the Lord. Amen. Now here it is, you have it, where they are forcing you to be with them. Come on now. You even got people, Come on. reporters, yes. investigative reporters, yes. arguing that there is a real Santa Claus and what color he is. Oh, my God. And you were investigative reporter. What network? The network should have fired her automatically. Automatic. You stupid. You acting like it's real. Santa Claus is Not false. Right. You had an adult right. on national TV arguing this point on what color he was. Mm -hmm. The real Santa Claus is white. White. Oh, the real Santa Claus. <laughs> As though there is a man yeah, that is. that's shorter than me, <laughs> thicker than him, <laughs> with a red suit, a sled, and reindeers that actually go from house to house all over the world and one night they can go down the chimney and come up the chimney and drop off presents. <laughs> this was this investigative report did. The network should have told her back. That was stupid. She said it was a joke, but everybody around her knew it was. But go ahead here. Then shall I understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives Wait a minute. Then shall thou understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of who? God. God. You got to remember, he is recreating himself. He is trying to get you to be on his level so you can think and be just like him. On one accord. Right. The knowledge of God. Go ahead. For the Lord giveth wisdom. The Lord giveth wisdom, y'all. Yes, he does. You can't tell me you're going to come up with something on your own and this is your, uh, you know, your wisdom. See? This is what I came up with. When I searched the thing, this is what I came up with. Well, can you read to me what you came read, up with? Thank you, thank you very much. Next. If you can't read it, hey. where you getting it from? You came up with it, like you said. You see? Next. Stick with the script. Stick with that. Go ahead. For the Lord giveth wisdom, out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. Wait, wait a minute, out of his mouth. His mouth. Right. Why are you saying it's your wisdom and your knowledge that's coming out of your mouth when he is saying just the opposite? The opposite. It is right. him that gives it. Thank you. Right. Thank you. And I know we, you know, we slip off sometimes. You know, we read and we and we study. You're supposed to study to show thyself approved. That's right. But whatever the Lord wants you to do, it's right here. That's it. it sure is. Everything he wants you to know is written in between these pages. That's right, brother. And if you can't find it there, is it coming out of the mouth of the Lord? Is it the Lord that gave that understanding, that knowledge, that wisdom? Skip on down to verse 10. When wisdom enters into thine heart, and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul, Discretion shall preserve thee, understanding shall keep thee. Discretion shall preserve thee, and understanding yeah, shall you, keep thee. Right, discretion, you got to be discreet. Hey, you know, sometimes, you know, when you're discreet about things, you don't make the moves you did. I don't do the same things I did when I first came into the world. Okay. I've learned. <laughs> I've learned to be discreet about things or have a discretion about things, it'll save you a lot of headache. Amen. You know what I got out of all that? I got some understanding. That's Thank what happened. Go ahead. To deliver thee from the way of the evil man, from the man that speaketh forward things, who leave the paths of uprightness to walk in the ways of darkness, who rejoice to do evil. That's good. That's good. 
Let's go over here. That's why wisdom is important. It will save you. I don't know. You know, what it say? Discretion shall preserve thee, understanding shall keep thee to deliver thee from the way of the evil man, from the man that speaketh forward things. Yeah. It says the man is speaking, you know, his forward thing. But wisdom and not or knowledge come from the most high, from the Lord. He giveth wisdom and he giveth understanding. Let's go on over to Proverbs, the fourth chapter. We're just going to read some simple things. And this is Solomon. Okay. What happened when Solomon got away from the script, y'all? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Amen. Hey, uh -huh. that lets you know that God is of no respect to person. Right. That's right. Absolutely right. I mean, just think what he dealt, how he dealt with Solomon mm -hmm. and David. Nah. Nah. He even got ready to deal with Moses. That's right. Thank you, brother. And he let Moses sit in his seat. Teaching. Amen. Proverbs 4, we're going to pick it up at verse 1. And pay attention to these first words. Go ahead. Hear, ye children, and instruction of a father, and attend to no understanding. For I give you good doctrine, forsake ye not my law. Wait a minute. Hear ye children, the instructions of a father, uh -huh. and attend to no understanding. For I give you good doctrine. <laughs> Forsake ye not my law. My law. That's right. That's right. My law. Thank you. These, this, this, look, this is all about God. This is where everything is coming from. Thank you very much. You know, sometimes I've seen people, well, we've been in this thing, we're just babes in this thing. That's yeah. right. That's right. That's right, brother. We just babes in this thing. The Lord reveals so many things, some some things to us, we couldn't, we couldn't take it. We could not take it. But he left us for what we needed to know to get eternal salvation. I think that would be enough to get into the kingdom of God. Amen. Anything else is coming up short. You agree or don't agree? I mean, if you ain't if you coming up short and you ain't getting into the kingdom of God, you ain't got one other place. So that's what we ought to be shooting for. All right. <laughs> Let's go over to Matthew, the 24th chapter. Just some simple stuff. Keep things in perspective. What's really important? Let's look at this big threat we, Jesus warned us about. Matthew 24, we're going to pick it up at verse 3. Go ahead. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. This is how Jesus is coming to you, telling you. They asked the question, and the first thing he said, Take heed that no man. No man. No man deceive you. Go ahead. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Look, you got a whole bunch of them that's coming in the name of Jesus, but they ain't bringing you the doctrine. Right, and yes, they are deceiving many, y'all. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Many. The people, that's, that's why you, you, you try to take people to the word of God. Hey, they don't want to hear. Right, but you got a man that's standing in front of you in front of thousands with no Bible at all. <laughs> and you hook, line, and say. Come on now. You're absolutely right. Sure. It's sad. It is sad. They don't get theirs, though. Skip on down to verse 15. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. Whoso readeth, let him understand. Look. First thing he tell you, take heed that no man deceive you. Right. Then he say, when ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet standing in the holy place, whoso read it, let him understand. Amen. First of all, they don't even know what the abomination of desolation is. 
I didn't know until I came into the truth. But how is it? But I never claimed to be that. But how is it that you go to church seven days a week? And your preacher ain't even told you or explained who the abomination of desolation is. The part about <laughs> the holy place, they don't have a clue about that because they don't even know who the abomination of desolation is. Right. But knowledge, y'all, it will let you know right. who it is. Right. Understanding it is the it, it, it will make you wise. But he said, take heed that no man deceive you. They act like that ain't even there. They act like we the ones that's actually reading what thus says the Lord is doing the deceiving. Uh -huh. that's right. Skip on down to uh, verse 21. But then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, he is Christ, or there, believe it not. But there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, and so much that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. You want to know why you can't deceive the very elect, though? Because we have been informed. We have received knowledge. But if it was possible, what's the opposite of uh, if it was possible? It's not possible. You can't deceive the very elect because they follow the instructions. Thank you very much. Thank you. He told you from the get-go, take heed that no man deceive you. That's right. If we follow the instructions, we, this is information, y'all. This is all our wisdom right here. This is what makes us wise. Anything else we know is just uh, information. It has nothing to do with the kingdom of God. That's right. What you do on your job, yeah. You know, uh, I do jobs. I help people out. I, I, I do certain other things that assist people. How you walk in that job, that's a part of being uh, a, a godly servant. However, it has nothing to do with the kingdom. Right. Your job, just that job that you do, it has nothing to do with the kingdom. Let's go over here to, uh, let's go over here, how to be part of that elect. We're just going to read some simple stuff, y'all. First, here's the first chapter. <clears throat> Say, if it was possible that these false prophets would see the very elect, but it's not possible. Because the very elect are in both. That's right. That's right. If they pay attention to this will, to this now. That's right. Amen. I've seen a bunch of people, they've been around, and all of a sudden, they don't let somebody bring them something that they can't even Good. read. Thank you very much. See, you got to know it. I can't read it. How can I know? The book is sealed. Right? First Peter 1 and 1. Go ahead. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father. Wait a minute. Elect according to who? The foreknowledge of God the Father. That's how you become part of the elect. That's right, that's right. The foreknowledge of God the Father, not you. Right. You are not, are not elect because of something you got in you. That's right, it ain't within, it's without. Dang. Okay. This is how we know. That's how the very elect cannot be. The father is, 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 look, that is the protocol. The father gives it to the son, the son gives it to the angel, the angel delivers this message to man. The foreknowledge of God the Father, that's how we are part of the event. The foreknowledge of God the Father. Finish that off. Through sanctification of the Spirit, 
Wait a minute. Through sanctification of the spirit. You were separated by the foreknowledge of God the Father. See? That is what separates you, not you. Go ahead. Unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ, grace unto you and peace be multiplied. That's good. Let's go on over here to Jeremiah the 8th chapter. I'm going to look at Israel for a minute. Lord is going to start with his church. He's going to <coughs> check them first. Right. Jeremiah 8, we're going to pick it up at verse 5. Jeremiah 8 and verse 5. Go ahead. Why then is this people of Jerusalem slidden back by a perpetual backsliding? They hold fast to seek. They refuse to return. You look, y'all know it to be true. <coughs> Why then is this people of Jerusalem sitting back by a perpetual backslide? They just keep going and going and going. Backslide. They hold fast deceit. They refuse to return. Israel refused to return. You got to argue with them up and down to help save their life. Get away with me, that stuff. You can't even let them know that they spiritual Israel right. or they physical yes, Israel. Yes. That's right. Man, get out of here. We ain't no Jew. <laughs> we African American. <laughs> Since when, bro? Because mm -hmm. some folks probably stand up and say we are African American. Mm -hmm. That lets you know how smart he is. Thank you. But you can't tell them that. They refuse to return. Skip on down to verse 7. Yeah, the stork in the heaven knoweth her appointed time. You see how the Lord just making this thing so simple mm -hmm. and let you see just how really smart you really are. Yeah. Go ahead. And the turtle dove and the turtle and the crane and the swallow observe the time of their coming. But my people know not the judgment of the Lord. Look. The animals are smarter than you. And they know what time it is. But the Lord's people, they don't even consider what's happening. Y'all, y'all look at the wildlife thing sometime and how if a fire or danger or, or let a lion come into a certain part of an area where you got a whole bunch of other animals. Do not the other animals know when trouble is coming? And everybody break out. It's just that one animal that decided to go off on his own and not paying attention to what's happening. And he becomes dead in practice. But the animals, they know. The animals know what the feeding time is. And they know when it's time to shut it down and everything. But my people know not the judgment of the Lord. Whoa, whoa. Go ahead. How do ye say we are wise? How do you say ye are wise? Go ahead. The law of the Lord is with us. Lo, certainly in vain may he it. The pen of the scribes is in vain. Look, the pen that he used to write it down is vain. And what he wrote down, or the scribe that wrote it down, he did it for nothing. You didn't, you didn't pay no attention to him. Right. You ain't paying no attention to what is written. Wow. This now, the foreknowledge of God the Father. Yes. That makes you part of the elect, not mm -hmm. what we think. Thank you very much. Or I feel. Oh, that's right. Say that. Say it. I really feel it in my heart. Uh -huh. You right. still be wrong. I don't care how much you feel it. And we're going to touch on that, that feel thing. Right. Or right. that dream yes. thing. Yes, come on now. We're just going to touch on it a little right. bit. Touch. Right. Go ahead. The wise men are ashamed. They are dismayed and taken. Lo, they have rejected the word of the Lord. And what wisdom is in them? Look, if you reject the word of the Lord, what wisdom is in you? And how do you say you are wise if you rejected the word of the Lord? The one that made man don't have a clue on what man should do to live forever, but you got it. We just read the book here. 
And, and, and I'm telling you, I, I, when I go over this lesson, I go over it because it helped check me. Because right. oh, right. anytime we start thinking that we are a little bit ahead of ourselves on, and it's us, Whoa. you know what you start doing, Whoa. easing on off right. by right. yourself. Right. But when you stick with the script, you line up perfect. Thank you, very much. Right. you become part of the elect. You are informed. Right. We already read where the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Yes, that's right. Right. That's right. Let's go over here to uh, Romans the 10th chapter. See how Paul talked about the zeal. And they like to come here and confuse themselves and twist Paul's writing, but to their own destruction. Right. There you go. See, they'll read Paul's writing. But they won't read the part that they gonna twist it to, the, to their own destruction. Because if you read, if you understand, if you got some understanding, you know Paul ain't saying, "Hey, you, you don't have to keep the law." That's right. You know that. Romans ten and pick it up at verse one. <clears throat> Go ahead, brethren. My heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. Well, I bet but, I you know what you just found out? When you read that, brother, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. Right. Not you already saved. Right. Right. That they might be saved. Right. Go ahead. For I bet them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. You know Israel got a big zeal of God. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. We do. It's the other part that we lack it in. That, that important part, that knowledge. Come on now. You right. know you're right. You know you're right. Look, we sing and dance, boy, I'm telling you, praising God and all of that. But we ain't got no knowledge. Go ahead. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness. That's it in a nutshell. See, when you know, when you begin, you get all the zeal, right. but then you're gonna be ignorant See. concerning the word of God, and now you're gonna establish your own life. Make it plain, make it plain, brother. Amen. That's all that happens. That's right. You go about establishing your, your own, own righteousness. Thank you very much. And this, look, brother, and I didn't know what we was, what I was dealing with today, but he was just saying it the whole time we coming up here. And I'm like, man, that's right on point. This got to be the right lesson. There you go. Because he doesn't have a clue what I was going to deal with. It's but he was right. just saying all the things. Go ahead. Have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. Look, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. Mm -hmm. Now, this is where they like to throw the trick in on you. Right. Go ahead. But Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth. They read this one scripture and say, see, you, Paul said you don't have to keep the law. Mm -hmm. No. But if you had the foreknowledge of God and you were part of the elect, you would understand that he is not talking about that. That's right. Go ahead. For Moses describeth the righteousness which is of the law, that the man which doeth those things shall live by them. Whoa. Go ahead. But the righteousness which is of faith speaketh on this wise. Say not in thy heart, who shall ascend into heaven? that is to bring Christ down from above, or who shall descend into the deep, that is to bring up Christ again from the dead. But what saith it? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart, that is the word of faith which we preach. Look, the word is nigh thee, in thy heart, let's say in thy mouth and in thy heart. How did you get it up here? And then get it to come out of here. Right. You study to show thyself approved. You study this now right. to show thyself approved, and it gets in your mind. Mm -hmm. That's what he told us. You know, you got to eat my word, right. and then you can go and prophesy. Yeah. And I got news for you: if you prophesy and you prophesy with some understanding, that's a thousand times better yeah. than you speaking your own word or how you feel. Right. 
you can't go wrong when you read what thus says the Lord, the way he said Amen. for it to be. Skip down to verse 14. Yo. We just want to hit that, that verse 14. How is it that <laughs> you, you got this man standing in front of you and he don't know nothing? He can't even count to three. Right. Mm. <laughs> he can't count three days and three nights. He can't even count to seven even though he got a calendar that say one through seven and what days it's on. He got dictionary, and everybody got these gadgets. And they hit a button, and it go to, you know, uh, Sabbath day. It, it, it'll go, you just hit Sabbath day, and it go right to it. A whole list of information pop up on these little things. And it ain't never Sunday. The first day of the week is Sunday. So even with all the information out there, you still stupid. Go ahead, on, brother. But then the people are still listening to him. So what? You ain't ignorant of it. You stupid too. There you go. You foolish. Oh. Fools hate knowledge. knowledge. Thank you. I ain't trying to be me. No, you're we need to get this thing yeah. right, though. That's right. <laughs> Let's go over to Isaiah. You want to read 14, brother? Read 14. Yeah. Read 14. Amen. Well, read 13 first. Go ahead. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Look, them, 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 them devils was calling. They knew who Jesus was. Look, are they going to get into the kingdom of God or are they going in the fire with Satan? Who shall ever call on the, on the name of the Lord shall be saved? But yeah, it's a little bit more to it than that, though. If you have some knowledge, and some understanding, you would know that hey, that just you just can't take it for that because there's something right after that. Go ahead. How then shall, shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? Look, you ain't believe nothing he said. Right. So how then can you call on him whom you have not believed? So you say, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. You don't believe what he said. How you going to get saved? And look, those that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. That is not around the corner. Right. Or whatever other date they come up with out of the blue, these false prophets. Right. The Lord revealed it to me. Mm. I need everybody to sign over their bank account and their houses to me because the Lord going to come and rapture us off. And the people fall oh, out of you can't bring none of that to the elect. I got lakefront property in the projects, if that's the case. <laughs> Going for a little bit of nothing. Go ahead. And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? You ain't heard nothing he said. Go ahead. And how shall they hear without a preacher? Your preacher don't even know how to count the three. Right. He is telling you everything contrary to the word of God. He is telling you that God died, that the Lord died on Good Friday and he rose Easter Sunday morning. He is telling you that the spirit of Christmas, we got to put it back into him when he say don't do. Easter is a wonderful thing for us. You got to look at his resurrection. Oh, his death? Look, he got, the Lord got everything he needs you to know about him right in this book. Right. Let's go over here to uh, Isaiah, the fifth chapter. I'm telling you, we got zeal. Isaiah 5, and we're going to pick it up in verse 11. I'll just let you know also that you just can't say, hey, I'm going to go get the biggest pork chop and bucket of chitlins I can and plate them up real good, and then I'm going to pray over it, then I'm going to eat. 
That's it. Knowledge will keep you from doing that. You want to know what it is? Because you can go over and read in Isaiah where he say those that do that, he going to come with fire. That's right. Does that sound like an invitation no. to a happy place? No. <laughs> Five and eleven. Woe unto them that rise up early in the morning, that they may follow strong drink and continue until night to wine and flame them. Look, see, he's talking about these people. You know, it's always about partying and all of that. Israel, all they want to do is party. But it's a warn to them that rise up early in the morning that they may follow strong drink. They continue until night, till wine and flame them. Go ahead. And the harp and the vial, the tabret and pipe and wine are in their feast. But they regard not the work of the Lord Neither consider the operation of his hand. Look, they regard not the work of the Lord, neither consider the operation of his hand. The Lord is doing certain things that he did back in the days, like when he opened up the earth and just swallowing up people. And ain't nobody paying attention. That's right. Nobody. He is destroying whole cities with floods. That's right. Right. And all they could do is come up with Mother Nature. Mother Nature. That's, what, that's what they come up with, though. See what knowledge is? The knowledge that they got is nothing. That's right. Amen. They ignorant. They are ignorant. How can you just look at all this that the Lord is doing? Just look. Just walk outside and look at his creation. You got the sun, you got the moon. You got air that you can't even see, but you need it to breathe. The Lord got it there for you. He set this whole earth up for you, and yet, hey, you don't give the Father no That's right. It is about man. Go ahead. Therefore my people are gone into captivity. This is why we're in captivity, y'all. Go ahead. Because they have no knowledge. Look, you got zeal, but you ain't got no knowledge. That's why you in trouble now. That's right. That's right. What is real knowledge and what is real wisdom? The fear of the Lord. That is the beginning of wisdom. Because had you feared him, we would have did, our forefathers would have did what they were supposed to do. That's right. That's right. Guess what? We wouldn't be in this situation that we in. But since we didn't, he, he prophesied that, hey, Israel going to fill up the prison house. There we sit. That's right. Israel, I'm going to punish you for everything you do. Yeah. And here it is. And yet yeah. we mad at the Gentiles. Yeah. We are mad at, we mad at everybody else. That's right. Hey, follow the instructions. Amen. Because he done said what he was going to do concerning what our forefathers did. So it's on us. You ain't got no other choice but to walk. Right, he ain't going to say, okay, I changed my mind, so I ain't going to do that no more. No. That right. What he said is going to happen to you, going to happen to you. He tell you if you will accept the punishment, repent and accept the punishment, and turn back to me, everything going to be all right. But I'm still going to deal with you, and you still ain't going to get away with nothing. Right. Go ahead. Yeah. Read that 13th verse again. Therefore my people are gone into captivity, because they have no knowledge, and their honorable men are famished, and their multitude dried up with thirst. Your honorable men are famished. Mm -hmm. Let's look at them out there. When they got out there, they don't know nothing. They have no knowledge, no understanding about nothing. Except how to count their bank bro. That's right. That's right. Let's go. Over. Yeah. Feed them said. Lord is saying, feed the flock, and they said, no, I gotta feed myself. I ain't gonna even bring up that guy that said if you don't come here to get fed. I ain't bringing him up. He ain't worth bringing up. I know that's right. Lord's gonna deal with him at the appointed time. Let's go over to Matthew. The 11th chapter. That's some simple things, y'all. 
Matthew the 11th chapter. We're going to pick it up at verse 16. Matthew 11 and 16. Talk about this generation here. Go in. But where unto shall I liken this generation? It is like unto children sitting in the markets and calling unto their fellows and saying, We have piped unto you, and ye have not danced. We have mourned unto you, and ye have not lamented. Look, no matter what you do when it comes to Israel to get them to hear this word, they don't want to hear nothing. Hey, brother, look, let's talk. Look, I can actually show you who you are. You are a chosen priesthood of people to the Lord, to the true and living God. Man, get out of here. Hey, brother, don't do that. Lord say he's the for that. Man, that's just words, just just thoughts that man made up. A lack of knowledge, y'all. See, if he had some knowledge, he would know that the men that wrote these words down were wrote down as they were moved by the Holy Ghost and the Spirit of God told them, or the Spirit of Truth told them what to write down. They got it from Jesus, and Jesus got it from the Father. The foreknowledge of God the Father makes you part of that. They would know that. But since they reject this, hey, it says, but where until shall I liken this generation? It is like unto children sitting in the markets and calling unto their fellows and saying, We have part unto you, and ye have not danced, and we have mourned unto you, and ye have not lamented. No matter how you come to them, they don't want to hear. Go ahead. But John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say he has a devil. Look, he came eating and drinking, they say he got a devil. That's a man. What was John eating? Was it honey and wild locusts? Right. Can you see it? He eating honey and wild locusts, and they say he got a devil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, you go to these places, and this big thing on the menu, and everybody is trying. But then you'll go on one of these TV shows and eat all type of roaches and bugs and all type of stuff to win a million dollars. You can eat unspeakable things. Thank you very much. <laughs> but they say he got a devil. Go ahead. The son of man came eating and drinking. And they say, behold, a man gluttonous and wine bibber. Look what they call the master. Yeah. A wine head. <laughs> Can you imagine that? They called the master wine here. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. A friend of publicans and sinners. Look, yeah. You, look, he came to the sinners. He, he needed to get them right. Right. That, that's the one he needed to get to get to get right. with. Thank you very right. much. If we walk, you know, if if you doing the things you're supposed to do, okay, he, you straight. He need to be over here with this one that ain't walking straight, dealing with him. Go ahead. But wisdom is justified of a truth. But wisdom is justified of a truth. Wisdom is justified of a truth. If you got some wisdom, look, you got this wisdom. Not if you got. Look, if you have some understanding concerning this word, look, you okay, you straight. You're justified in this type of wisdom right here. Amen. Let's go over here to uh, let's go over to James the third chapter. Simple stuff. Mm -hmm. James 3, we're going to pick it up at 11. James 3 and 11, go ahead. 
Does the fountain send forth at the same place sweet water and bitter? But does the fountain send forth at the same place sweet water and bitter? Go away. Can the fig tree, my brethren, bear olive berries? Are there vine figs? So can no fountain both yield salt water and fresh? You got to make up your mind. Go away. Who is a wise man and a dude with knowledge among you? Let him show out of a good conversation his works with meekness and wisdom. Look, who is a wise man and a dude with knowledge among you? Let him show out of his good conversation his work with meekness of wisdom. Look, if you are walking accordingly the way the Lord say walk, people know. They know. They ain't even got to agree with you, but they know, hey, he don't do the things right. that I see other people do. Right. Something about him. Don't know what it is, something about him, though. Right. I ain't got no problem. He don't bother nobody. He, he, he mind his business. He, he ain't running off at the gym all the time. Right. <laughs> Amen. He listening. Hey, he treat people well. I mean, he keep that Passover and that stuff like that, you know. I ain't with that, but, you know, hey, that's cool. He, he don't even bother nobody. Right. Who is a wise man and a dude with knowledge among you? Let him show out of a good conversation his work with meekness of wisdom. Look, you ought to be walking this walk. They can tell. Right. They can tell how you are. Your conversation, your lifestyle, they know. But it say, can you, you gonna be both? One day you gonna, hey, you know, hey, yeah, I know the word, but hey, I'm gonna disregard that today. Yeah. I'll get back on point on the Sabbath. See, when the sun go down Friday, I'm back to serve now, Saturday. You got some people like that, I can get back on point on the Saturday. But if you get you before the sun go down, right. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're dealing with a God that have killed just because people refuse to follow his children. Regardless of what their intention was. All right. All right. Other, you know, he wanted to say the heart could have come in from falling. But hey, what did the Lord do? He killed him. You just understand the God of this Bible that you're dealing with. He is trying to give us the things that we need to know to save ourselves. Absolutely. Amen. And if we stick with this the way he got it, we are right. right we got some real wisdom going on. Amen. Right. Amen. His wisdom Amen. that he's allowed to share with us because he's trying to recreate himself. Yes. That's yes. what God has been out there Certain things have taken place, and uh, God has been in a certain situation, and something go down right there. Mm -hmm. And you know, all the, it could be a couple of brothers, they see something, something go down, and y'all can come up all with the same scripture at the same time. Because right. you know it was in error with that scripture. <laughs> and you go, all us going to come up with the same scripture at the same time. Okay. You know, you good example. People come to you and say, well, you know, my family ain't trying to hit that. First thing everybody gonna say, hey, the Lord come to bring a sword in the household. Right. He gonna send mother right. against right. daughter and father against son and, and husband against wife. We all gonna come up with that same thing. That's the knowledge he's recreating himself. If we're going to rule with him, we need to know how he thinks so we can judge like how he judges. Absolutely. <laughs> That's it. He don't want nobody just, okay, yeah, kill him for no reason. Yeah, just kill him. He's he, he made the wrong step. Hmm. Let's go over here to, uh, let's go over here to Deuteronomy 4th chapter. This ain't going to be long. Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter. We're going to read verses 1 and 2, and we're going to skip. Go ahead. 
Now therefore hearken, O Israel, unto the statutes and unto the judgments which I teach you, but to do them, that ye may live and go in and possess the land which the Lord God of your fathers giveth you. Ye shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall ye diminish off from it, that ye may keep the commandments of the Lord your God which I command you. Look, why is everybody always add? And okay, well, I want to add this because this is what I think the Lord meant. No. And how are you going to take away from it? Well, see, the Lord, that ain't what he mean when he said Wait, that. Now, <laughs> Wait a minute. He said it five times. You know you're right. Amen. Amen. You calling the Lord a liar. I'm liar. Amen. That's right. Whether you know it or not, you are calling the Amen. Father a liar. You're calling Amen. Jesus a liar. Right. Guess what? You are blaspheming. Thank you. Thank you very much. Amen. Amen. Anytime you start saying, what the Lord got written down, he don't mean what he, he said. So when he say, ye shall not add unto the word which I command, you neither shall ye diminish out from it, that ye may keep the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command, then this, we need to take this out here, right? He don't mean what he said right here about add and taking away. So we gonna take it out. Fools they acknowledge y'all, they hate it. But it says something now, therefore hearken, O Israel, to the statutes unto the judgments which I teach you. Which I teach you. Which the Lord teach you. Thank you very much. Yeah, the Lord set up teachers. But we better be reading from this book. And reading with some understanding and delivering it with some understanding. Amen. Verse 5, go ahead. Behold. I have taught you statutes and judgments. I taught you statutes and judgments. It is me. I taught you. Especially Israel. You was naked and polluted in your own blood. Thank you, thank you. Until the Lord saw you, cleaned you up, married you, and gave you the best of everything. Like a real husband he should to his wife. Like a real husband should to his wife. Do all, and, and, and who's to say what is best? If you ain't got no hamburger, that hamburger, when you get it, that's the best at that time. Thank you, you understand what I'm saying? And if you got a hamburger and no cheese, when you get that cheese, then that's the best cheeseburger or hamburger with cheese on it at that time. I ain't trying to put no uh, amount or how what, what is best. I ain't trying to do that. Right. But a real husband, he he give it the best that he got at that time. And the Lord had the best of everything. Yes. So he gave you the best of everything. All that we had to do was walk with these laws yes. and stuff. And he just laid it down here. Right. Look, I done gave you laws and statutes and judges. Just yes. do it. Yes. And I got you. And you're going to be above all the people of the earth. You're going to be the one that's doing the lending and not the one that's got to borrow all the time. I'll let you stay in your land if you keep Saturday. But it's a great sale going on, Lord, and I got this great. I, I got these thugs and pistons and all this stuff, Lord. I, I, I guarantee I can get five for one. So much for that sale on the Sabbath day out here, too. Believe it or not, Israel's biggest thing that I've, that I've seen since I've been at work, you mean to tell me I can't go spend no money? You broke anyway. I can't go spend no money on the Sabbath day, and I can't wash my car. That's how big stuff is. It is. two of the biggest things that's. What do you mean I can't buy nothing? Now see, now. What do you mean I, I, hey, I can't clean, even clean up my car? That's another thing. What they got to do with the Lord? Hey, if you had some understanding, you would know what it means. That's right. right. This is representing. This is representing the day of rest. Now, right. now. A thousand years see? of ruling with God and His King. Thank you very much. And if you come up in the first resurrection, guess what? 
You can ask to be saved. Be saved. Amen. No more sickness. Right. No, no more lying and all that. And nothing but the truth being spoken of. Nothing but the truth. See, knowledge will make you not answer. What do you mean I can't wash my car and I can't go shopping on the Sabbath day? Because you would understand, forget washing a car and forget going to spend some money. I get to keep it in my pocket a little bit longer. I'm looking for that eternal salvation Amen. and ruling with God Amen. and being in this family. Thank you Knowledge. Right. But who will take that? Amen. Go ahead. Even as the Lord my God commanded me that you should do so in the land where the ye go to possess it. Keep therefore and do them. For this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations which shall hear all these statutes and say, surely this great nation it's a wise and understanding people. Why do you not want that to happen? That's right. That's right. They call you everything else. <laughs> you don't want to be called called a wise and understanding people. You have no problem with all the other pet names that they give you. <laughs> Matter of fact, you take it, you turn it into a pie. That's right. <laughs> Yes, you, yes, we do. Come on, brother. Even got them on the TV and I said, I prefer that you call uh -huh. me that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Stupid is stupid. Yes, stuff. yes, yes. You teach it, brother. You know it's true, though, right, bro? Amen. <laughs> hey, Amen. man, you call me this, man. I prefer, I want you to be real with me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> be stupid with me, too. Yeah. <laughs> Can't go that route, bro. See? Even though I understand what some of these terms mean, why well, I got to call you that? See? Don't you have a name? <laughs> but you know what that? That was spark of other conversations. Don't you have a history? Don't you have a nationality? Okay, now, nah, brother, let's go in here and get some real knowledge. I can show you who you are. Amen. That's the key right there. Amen. Knowledge. Keep going. For what nation is there so great who hath God so nigh unto them as the Lord our God is in all things that we call upon him for? Look, the Lord even told you that there is not another nation that was called by his name. Mm -hmm. What nation can say, can, can say this? For what nation is there so great who hath God so nigh unto them? What nation can actually say that? We had the true and living God right. walking before us, That's amongst right. us. That's right, brother. That's it. The true and living God. That's right. And all he said do was these little simple laws Thank and statutes. Thank you. He, he gave you a land. You didn't have to build no houses or nothing. Everything was in order. Right. He, he got rid of a nation. Your God will kill for you. Thank you very much. <laughs> and that wasn't good enough. Because we're going to break the Sabbath day. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead. And what nation... Excuse me. Verse 8, go ahead. Verse 8. And what nation is there so great that has statutes and judgment so righteous as all this law, which I set before you this day? Look, I got news for you. The laws that they have set up now, look, how can you say you, you, you ain't got to keep the law, but the very law that you are, have established, you can read out of the Ten but it's built upon this. That's right. If you steal, you go to jail. Mm -hmm. That's right. You, could, you commit adultery, it costs you. They ain't going for half no more. They want it all. Mm -hmm. And even if all is nothing is still more than what you got. For the brother. So look, you can't do these things. You can't steal, you can't kill. If you lie in court, guess what? 
Amen. You go to jail for that. But all this is written in the word of God. Amen. Now they're telling you, you can't keep this. See? But they built a whole order of law and whoa, government whoa. upon this. Even when they get to the to the uh, Levitical priesthood. They built it upon this. i tell you something. An evil and adulterous generation seeks after a sign. And that ain't out of my mouth. That's out of the Lord's mouth when we know who he was talking to. Go ahead. Only take heed to thyself and keep thy soul diligently lest thou forget the things which thine eyes have seen and lest they depart from thy heart all the days of thy life. But teach them thy sons and thy sons' sons. Look, look. Over there in Matthew, Lord tell you, he did not come to destroy the law or the prophets, but to fulfill. And they stopped reading right there. See, he came to fulfill it. You don't have to keep the law because Jesus came to fulfill it. Had they kept reading, That's right. they would have understood That's right. That he also said right after that, whosoever shall teach men so shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven, but whosoever shall shall not teach men so, they shall be called least in the kingdom. That's not right here. All you gotta do is read. Let's go over here. I got a, let me throw something in here. Let's go on over here to Deuteronomy 13 chapter. Let you know 
that he is going to wear out the saints of the Most High. So why are you going contrary and trying to start a war with this person? Thank you very much. Talking about let's get together and get, I done heard some brothers, I done heard some brothers talking about, man, we need to be ready and we need to have guns and weapons and ready. Yeah, there's a time when the Lord had him to fight, had Israel to fight. But guess what? He always sent that angel before him. One angel killed 185,000 in one night. What makes he think you think he needs your pop pistol for? <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Let's get real. And if the Lord is telling you to do one thing and you're doing, you're doing something contrary, guess what? We're going to read what you're doing. Mm -hmm. We're going to read what you're doing. Go ahead. For the Lord your God proves you to know whether you love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul. You should walk after the Lord your God and fear him. Wait a minute. Let's pay attention to the way that he said this. Thou shalt not hearken unto the words of that prophet or that dream of dream. For the Lord your God proveth you to know whether ye love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, your soul. Ye shall walk after the Lord. You will walk after him. After him, your God. You got people that got these little idols up in their mind. That's why they can't hear nothing you say. Right. Can't hear nothing. Go ahead. And fear him and keep his commandments and obey his voice. And you shall serve him and cleave unto him. Look, look that one little verse, that's everything in a nutshell. In a nutshell, ye shall walk after the Lord your God and fear him and keep his commandments and obey his voice. And ye shall serve him Amen. and cleave unto him. Amen. You got people coming up with all these visions. Yeah, the Lord showed me this. And uh, that's the way we ought to go. And you got people that go up after them. That's right. That's right, brother. But many false prophets shall come and shall deceive me. And I got news for you. Some going to depart from the faith. Yeah, they had understanding. But then they started getting off to the left a little bit, you know, doing their own thing. Yeah, the Lord has revealed to me. See, he ain't revealed to none of you other brothers this day. <laughs> Wait a minute. But then, you know, uh, if he only revealed to you, you know, uh, that means he don't let his servants know. That's contrary to the scripture. He let his servants know everything. You talk about the foreknowledge of God the Father. Uh -huh. But when you get off to your own thing, your own righteousness, your own vision, dreaming, dreaming. Right. The Lord showed me this last night in my sleep. Let's go over here. Let's go on over here to uh, number the 11th chapter. Just gonna look at a little simple thing here. 11 and 25, because something has started to take place, then a couple of brothers decide to do something. We're gonna see what Moses thought about. 11 and pick it up at uh, verse 25. Go ahead. The Lord came down in the cloud, and spake unto him, and took out the spirit that was upon him and gave it unto the seventy elders. And it came to pass that when the spirit rested upon them, they prophesied and did not cease. So now the same spirit that was on Moses, the Lord took it and put it on these seventy elders. And then once he put it on them, they prophesied. Yeah. Go ahead. But there remained two of the men in the camp. The name of the one was Eldad. Now they prophesied. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They prophesied. Once that spirit was put upon them, they prophesied. They didn't come up with a dream okay. or a vision of their own. They received, received instruction, and then they spoke. The Lord, that's why he say, here, listen to me. Amen. Right. Go ahead. And the name of the other, Medad, 
and the spirit rested upon them. And they were of them that were written. It says spirit rested upon them too, right? right? Go ahead. But went out, but went not out unto the tabernacle. And they prophesied in the camp. Look, so the same spirit that he took from Moses and put on the 70 elders, what happened when they got it? They prophesied. Right. Now you got these two. Hey, they didn't go. But yet the spirit was upon them. Guess what? They prophesied. Go ahead. And there ran a young man and told Moses and said, Eldad and Medad do prophesy in the camp. And Josh, they do prophesy. That's right. Prophesy. Not they that came up with a vision. Thank you. Come on. Or a dream. Okay. Or the Lord revealed it to me. No, they all speaking the same thing. Right. That's right. The same spirit that was on Moses, he put on the 70 elders. And look, the same spirit came upon these two brothers. Amen. Go ahead. And Joshua, the son of Nun, the servant of Moses, one of his young men answered and said, My Lord Moses, forbid them. And Moses yes. said unto him, Envious thou for my sake? Look! Whoa, whoa. Look, Moses won no glory hall. You okay. understand? Look, this thing ain't about me. You envious them for, for my sake? Thank you very much. Go ahead. With God that all the Lord's people were prophets. Look! Because the prophets did what? They prophesied. Yeah. Did it just say those two were free that one more time? And Moses said unto him, Envy is thou for my sake, mm -hmm. with God, that all the Lord's people were prophesied. That all the Lord's yeah. people were yeah. prophesied. Thank you very much. All. Thank you. Because if everybody was prophesying the same thing, we'd all be on the same Thank page. You very much. One accord, brother. That's simple, right? Amen. So then, where come your dream? Well, let's go over here and see. Let's go to Jeremiah, the 23rd chapter. We're going to get back to this knowledge. We're going to stay in the guidelines. I just wanted to hit this. We got brothers that were bending this thing. So I've been in for a hot minute, you know, a year, two years. Yeah, I got to break away, man, because the Lord done revealed this thing to me. You understand what I'm saying? So he ain't revealed it to the ones that he set up. You know, that's been in operation for 50 years. He ain't, he ain't revealed that thing to them. He gave it to me only. <laughs> Don't that sound like that Doc Pauline doctor thing? He revealed it to Paul, the dispensation of Paul, and then he gave Paul something different. Mm -hmm. The whole mystery with that was, hey, that the Gentiles in Israel was all supposed to be on one accord. That was the great mystery with that thing. And if you read it, this knowledge, you would have understood that because it plain, it says it's clear as daylight. Mm -hmm. That was the great mystery. They done turned it into a doctrine. Right. Like the Lord gave Paul something. Not the Lord. The Father gave Paul something that he gave to Jesus and none of the prophets and none of the apostles. Right. He gave it to Paul. He skipped Jesus. That's right. <laughs> the Father gave it to Paul oh, himself. Because right. right. not even the Lord knew about that thing. Amen. <laughs> is that ignorance or is that a fool? You tell me. That's fools. But fools hate not. Okay. 23. We're going to pick it up at 1. Then we're going to skip. We're going to skip in here a little bit. 23 and 1. Go ahead. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith the Lord. Go ahead. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people, ye have scattered my flock and driven them away, and have not visited them. I will visit upon you the evil of your doing, saith the Lord. The Lord going to deal with them at an appointed time. Skip on down to verse 16. Go ahead. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, hearken not unto to the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you. They make you vain. They speak a vision of their own heart, and not out of the mouth of the Lord. And that's what it is. They speak a vision of their own heart and not out of the mouth of the Lord. It ain't coming from the word of God, so where is it coming from? Go ahead. 
They say still unto them that despise thee. The Lord has said, you shall have peace. And they say unto everyone that walketh at the imagination of his own heart, no evil shall come upon you. Look, they are telling the people that you can break God's law and he ain't going to do nothing to you. Uh -huh. yeah. mm -hmm. The Lord say when he come, he going to fill the places up with dead bodies. That's what he's saying. The Jesus of this body. Thank you very much. He coming back killing. Amen. Amen. Jesus is no cream puff. <laughs> Look, the fact that, hey, he died and rose again and went and sat on the right hand of the Father after the death that he suffered. Look, you should have knew something was up. <laughs> Without father, without mother, without beginning of days, no end of life. And you ain't worried about this guy? That's the thing. He was walking around. Yeah, his disciples was there. He was walking around and chin checking everybody. Every time they said something out of pocket, he was checking. Amen. They seeking to kill him. But he going around in their face checking. Going to the synagogue and start turning over the money changing tables. They didn't say they went in with him and helped him. They say he went in. <laughs> they looking to kill him and he in their face. And if that wasn't good enough, when they came to him and they was getting ready to crucify him, and they say, Are you? And he asked them, Who are you looking for? <laughs> And they told him. He asked them twice. And they told him. And when he said, I am he, they fell back. That's, That's right. right. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. There's power spoken by a king. <laughs> Real power. He just spoke the word, and all of them fell back. I am he. A light should have went off. <laughs> I ain't messing with this guy. Right. <laughs> You got to be crazy. Forget the 30 piece. I ain't messing with this guy, man. He feed 5,000 people with two, loaves. with two loaves of bread. That's unheard of. He got the best wine. If, if that wasn't good. <laughs> dealing with Israel, I mean, he got the best wine. He should have been, you know, a good guy just for that. <laughs> Amongst Israel, y'all know what I'm saying. <laughs> hey, 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 the, hey, he got the wine. That's going to be going. <laughs> he wasn't even, you know, yeah. His, his followers, they understood that he made the wine. Right, right. But the rest of them, you know, hey, this is your master and you ain't afraid of him. But go ahead. But who has stood in the counsel of the Lord and have perceived and heard his word? Who has marked his word and heard it? Behold, the whirlwind of the Lord is going forth in fury, even a grievous whirlwind. It shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. Go ahead. The anger of the Lord shall not return until he have executed, until he have performed the thoughts of his heart. In the latter days, you shall consider it perfectly. In the latter days, you're going to consider it perfectly. Go ahead. I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I, I ain't not... sent them, but yet they run. Uh -huh. This vision, uh -huh. this dream, Lord done revealed it to me. Mm -hmm. He said, I ain't sent these prophets. Right. Yet they read. Go ahead. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. Yeah, if you're going to prophesy something, you ought to get it from the prophets. Right. Right. How you going to prophesy something that you just thought of? I mean, I had a dream that I hit one of them mega power balls. It didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> It didn't happen, and a whole bunch of brought the tree. Yeah, man, if I had to hit the mega and the power ball, I could help build the Lord church. You know you're going to put the Lord in it. Maybe the Lord will do it. Say you're going to take it. Y'all you know it's true. Come on, I ain't going to take it. Yeah, see, I can hook up the church and help the Lord out there like he needs you. So let me, in the dream, I hit this mega ball. It didn't happen. Go ahead, brother. Verse 22. But if they had stood in my counsel and had caused my people to hear my words, 
then it should have turned them from their evil way and from the evil of their doing. Look, but if they had stood in my counsel and had caused my people to hear my words, not theirs, my words, and they should have turned them from their evil way and from their evil doing, evil of their doing. Look, you have the people that are actually, they got a zeal of God, but guess what? They preachers, he ain't got no knowledge, and he ain't teaching them nothing. That's right. Except, give me your money. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and the people, they, you know, they got the wrong thing. They, they're trying to serve God, they just don't have the knowledge. But if they had stood in the counsel of the Lord and gave them his word, everybody would be on one accord if everybody was prophesying the same thing. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Am I a God at hand, saith the Lord, and not a God afar off? Can any hide himself in secret places Whoa. that I shall not see him, saith the Lord? Look, we were talking about this right before we pulled in. Hey, you can't hide from God. Right. You know, you're doing all these evils, you know, creating this stuff in your mind. And you got some that actually set out to have brother against brother, sister against sister, right. cause a strife amongst them. Yes, they do. Lord say they ain't going to get in the kingdom. And if you ain't in the kingdom, you're going in the fire. There you go. Read verse 28. A prophet that has a dream, let him tell a dream. And he that has my word, let him speak my word faithfully. What is the chaff to the wheat, saith the Lord? Look, the prophet that have a dream, let him tell a dream. And he that have my word, let him speak my word. I want the Lord's word. I want the foreknowledge of God the Father. That's what I want. Forget a dream. There you go. I knew it was a long shot when I dreamed the dream. Even while I was dreaming, I knew in, my, in myself it ain't going to happen. But I still dreamed the dream. Yeah, I hit the lottery. Whatever. It didn't happen. That's a dream, y'all. That's a dream. But I got this word say, hey, he that has food and raiment, let him be there content. Forget hitting the big. I always say, hey, if I get so much money, maybe I get away from the word of God. Typical Israel, wife's fat and king. Right. You know that. <laughs> Solomon say, don't give me too much, don't give me too little. Give me what I need to rule your people right. That's what I want. <clears throat> That's what I want. That's the knowledge I want. How to be a better servant. Because if I'm a better servant, guess what? I'm making sure of my election that I'm going to get into the kingdom if I follow the instructions. Amen. Let's go over here to, uh, let's go over here to, uh, Matthew the 13th chapter. We only got a few, y'all. But I think since I was here on time, y'all normally know how I run that we should probably go over just a little bit. We don't have to. We have to see. Didn't get the amen, so I guess that's out of the Amen, bro. <laughs> no, brother, you're going to finish where you finish. Don't be yeah, and taking away nothing. <laughs> Even the baby time then, though. Um, Matthew 13, pick it up at verse 1. The same day went Jesus out of the house and sat by the seaside, and great multitudes were gathered together unto him, so that he went into a ship and sat, and a whole multitude stood on the shore. And he spake many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, the soul went forth to sow. Now look, he spake many things in parables. Skip on down to verse 10. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. For whosoever hath, to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever hath not, from him shall be taken away, even that he hath. Now look, it was given to you to know the mysteries of God. But he said, whosoever hath, it shall be given. 
and whosoever have not, it shall be taken away. When he was dealing with the talents over there, he gave the one man 10, and then he, he doubled it. He said, I have gained 10, then he gave another one five. He said, I have gained five more. But then it came to the one that he gave the one time. He said, I, I stored it up and put it up for you. I know how you were. Mm -hmm. The Lord took it away. Absolutely. You know, you ought to be seeking after the word of God. Seeking after this knowledge. This eternal life. It is keys to the kingdom of God. What is it on this earth that is worth your eternal salvation? What is it that you would give up for? And yet people are trading it, eternal salvation in for pork chop and chicken or a piece of meat for strength. Right? right? They just got the best crab leg in the fight. How do you trade Eternal salvation for a piece of meat, child. For a Cadillac. How do you trade? You know, or the Range Rover if you got money. You got people walking around, driving around in the hood with a $65,000 car and no garage. <laughs> do that make sense? And short on rent. <laughs> they got a jug of wine in there though, but they sure it on right. Just reading it. Go ahead. Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they seeing, see not, and hearing, they hear not, neither do they understand. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which saith, By hearing you shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing you shall see. And shall not proceed. How is it that you hear and you don't hear, but you see and you ain't seeing? You know, rejected the knowledge of, of the word of God. Fools hate knowledge. That's all it is. You ain't trying to see it, even though it's there. Thank you. The Lord told you that He's gonna put Israel, store them up in prison house. He say, who gonna lay it to heart? Because he set Israel on fire. Everything is going on with them. And ain't nobody even considering. They just going about their daily life. Hey, we gonna get this money. How is it that you get money and then give it right back? And you ain't got nothing to show for. Amen. We was just talking, you know, our grandparents and stuff, they had land, acres of land. But everybody wanted the city life. We didn't live in apartments. We had houses. Right. Regard, it, hey, my grandfather built a, a shack of a house, but I thought I was in a mansion. Right. Four doors, a door on each side of the house. See, now, now. One, you can go out to the smokehouse and the hen house. One, you can go to the, to the garden. One, you, you can go out to where the livestock was. The other one, you could walk outside, and you had chickens laying all around and everything. You had land. Right. We traded that for an apartment. <laughs> now we're trying to get back to that, but we need our own land. Right. Go ahead, brother. And for this people's heart is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing. And their eyes, they have closed. Wait a minute. Let's say they closed their eyes. That's right. They rejected me. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and should understand with their heart and should be converted and the eyes should heal them. Look, the law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. Right. That's what that law do. It clean you up. That's right, brother. And he would heal. That's all he ever told you before. Obey my voice. Let's go over here to uh, Isaiah the sixth chapter. We're gonna pick. 
pick it up in verse 1. Check out how Isaiah realized he, you know, he, he wasn't a big uh, poncho that he thought he was. Or he, you know, he wasn't really as perfect as he thought he was. Isaiah 6 and verse 1. When you get it, go ahead. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Above it stood the seraphims. Each one had six wings, with twain he covered his face. And the twain, and with twain he covered his feet, and with twain he did fly. And one cried unto another, said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And the post of the door moved at the voice of him that cried, and the house was filled with smoke. Then said I, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For mine eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Look, he understood then. Mm -hmm. He wasn't as clean as he thought he was, and the people there, they weren't as clean either. He didn't know neither about them. Including himself. Go ahead. Then flew one of the seraphims unto me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken from the thong tongs, taken with tongs from off the altar. And he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, this hath touched thy lips, and thy iniquity is taken away, and thy sin purged. Look, when the Lord claimed you up, you claimed. And he had laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, this hath touched thy lips and thy iniquity is taken away, and thy sin purged. That's a big statement. Now watch what happened. Go ahead. Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then said I, Here am I, send me. He done got clean, his sin is purged, and he cleaned up now. Hey, and he heard the voice, he said, Here am I, send me. Go ahead. That's what happened to you, though. Because when... When, when, when you get when you get when you get cleaned up and then you get taught, then you start prophesying. That's what happened to each and every one of us when we came into this thing. We knew we had hit the jackpot when we got this word. Because we had never heard nothing like it ever before, and it just made too much sense. And it was simple. Because somebody told you where to go and find. Where was it? Look, it said right here. That's right. You had a question, they say, read right that here. right there. Right. Whatever it was, they can answer your question. Why we suffer the way we suffer. Here you go, brother. Come on. I got a whole Amen. chapter. Come on now. Come on. And we got a whole book talking about see, you see. and your faux pas. Right. And once I learned that I was Israel, I learned, look, on the Sabbath day, the lesson Amen. about the Sabbath day, I learned that I was Israel. Amen. Yes. I'm telling you, I was like, whoa. That's right, me too, brother. Didn't say nothing to none of my brothers <laughs> about nothing. Okay. Just uh -huh. told a family member, hey, take me to Mama Church tomorrow because I'm going to tell the truth. You're lying. <laughs> <laughs> you're lying, and I know you're lying, and I got proof of you lying. Right. Uh, I didn't say nothing until afterward. <laughs> and they thought, <fa> well, <laughs> my mom. Call them and say, what did, what did y'all do to him? You know, and we get all that. Well, they must be uh, putting subliminal messages in the tape or something, because he just done changed in one, one with a couple of hours. A couple of hours. And I hung out in the streets. I was from the streets. I put down one thing and picked this up. And people, people around at my family, they didn't understand what was going on with me. They thought I was losing my mind. Because I put that down and picked this up after one lesson. And I actually thought I was going to a party. <laughs> My brother told me, come hang out with me. It's Saturday afternoon, the sun is shining, the birds chirping. Hey, I get there and see all these people. I'm like, oh, it's on and pop. <laughs> come on in. I walked in. He said, sit down and handed me a body. That's all it took. Alrighty. And I ain't looked back. That's not. When you're seeking, 
When you seeking some real knowledge, evidently, and I ain't ashamed to say it, the Father thought enough about me to draw me to Jesus. Regardless how it went down that my brother got me there, he got me there. And once I got there, I said, hey, I'm going to make good use of this. Where you at? Beginning at 9. Go ahead. And he said, go and tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert, and be healed. Look, the choice is yours. I said before you life and death, choose life and live. But of course, when you get to Jeremiah, they say the people chose death. And they choose it every day. People are choosing death. Choose it. You have a choice. Let's go over here to, uh, okay, here, this thing, you see this thing, this is why. Let's go on over here to Corinthians 14 chapter. 1 Corinthians 14 chapter. Why is it that people talk about speaking in tongues and they come to this chapter? To prove their point. When it proves just the opposite. So you got to speak in tongues. This is the chapter they come to to prove that you've got to be able to speak in tongues. See what it means when they say food to Right. They hate it. Pick it up in verse 18. I thank my God I speak with tongues more than you be all. Yet in the church, I had rather speak five words with my understanding that by my voice I might teach others also than 10,000 words in an unknown tongue. One verse just killed their whole doctrine of speaking in tongues. Right. How are you going to babble all this stuff when it, don't nobody understand you? No, see, I'm speaking in the Lord. Well, what you doing up here for then? Thank you. If God is the only one understanding you and you're speaking to me, why, how can I learn anything? I don't understand. If God the only one know which you are interpreting, why are you up here speaking to a congregation? You can do that in your car. Go ahead. Brethren, be not children in understanding. Brethren, be not children in understanding. And I'm telling y'all, be not children in understanding. Go ahead. I'll be in malice, be ye children, but in understanding, be men. Be men in understanding. Go ahead. In the law it is written, with men of other tongues and other lips will I speak unto this people. And yet for all that will they not hear me, saith the Lord. Now you got people out there saying you can't call the name Jesus. You, you got to speak he and all this stuff. Well, wait a minute. The one that created man is the same one that confounded the lame. The same one that say, I'm going to speak to this people in another tongue. Another lame. He is saying one thing and you are telling me that, hey, it's wrong. Do that make sense? The Lord is saying one thing, his word is saying one thing, and you are saying something else. You got to speak it in this. Well, it, it ain't even per no way. He said he going to, when, when he show up, he, at a certain time, he going to give Israel, he going to give everybody a pure language. Pure language, that's what he's saying. Yeah, he's speaking Hebrew. You don't know what you got now. That's right. That's right. And how many words do you really know? Now. Right. Now. How, I mean, Shalom. Come on, what is it? You got Yahshua? I mean, Ben and I, he know a couple of 
a, a couple of names, you know. Just a couple. <laughs> Let them go to somebody that's speaking and they think they got a pure language. Yep. And he gonna find out he don't know nothing. Go ahead. <laughs> Wherefore, tongues are for a sign, not to them that believe. Wait a minute. Oh. It say, Wherefore, tongues are for a sign, not to them that believe. See? Go ahead. But to them that believe not. It's for those that believe not. <laughs> if you read this to them, they stuck. <laughs> mm -hmm. They have probably go out for you. Yeah. Read that next part. <laughs> But prophesying serveth not for them that believe not, but for them which believe. When you prophesy, when you prophesy, reading this prophecy and prophesying about this, these words, yeah. then it say, for, prophet, for prophesying serveth not for them that believe not, but for them which do believe. The believers are doing some prophesying, y'all. They believe what is written. Thank you very much. The non-believers. Hey, they ain't prophesying because they don't believe it. They reject it. This is knowledge, though. Go ahead. If therefore the whole church be come together into one place and all speak with tongues, and there come in those that are unlearned or unbelievers, will they not say that ye are mad? If somebody walked in here and everybody was speaking a whole a different tongue, how long do you think they'll stay in here? They had to turn right around and say, man, those people over there are crazy. <laughs> the kids are even speaking better English than they are over there. They're over there tripping. <laughs> Go ahead. But if all prophesy, and there come in one that believeth not, or one unlearned, he is convinced of all, he is oh, judged oh. of all. Go ahead. And thus are the secrets of his heart made manifest, and so Falling down on his face, he will worship God and report that God is in you a, of a truth. Skip down to verse 27. If a man speak in an unknown tongue, let it be by two or by, at the most, by three, and that by course, and let one interpret. Skip up to 26. How is it then, brethren, when ye come together, every one of you has a song, has a doctrine, has a tongue, has a revelation, has an interpretation, let all things be done unto edifying. Look, if any man speak in an unknown tongue, let it be by two, or at the most by three, and that by course, and let one interpret. Then he say, how is it then, brother, and when you come together, every one of you have a psalm, have a doctrine, have a tongue, have a revelation, have an interpretation, let all things be done unto edifying. How have everybody got their own little thing in the edifying of, of the church of God is being going on, mm -hmm. is going on. If everybody got a song, and everybody got a doctor, See? Okay, good. everybody got a dream to tell. Uh -huh. <laughs> how is the Lord, how is it that you are edifying the church of God by all this battle? Let's go over here. This is how. Isaiah 28 chapter. We only got a... That's about three or four more. That's good enough for me. We got about six or seven left. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Very short though. Six or seven. Eight. Got eight. <laughs> 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 Isaiah 28. I'm still doing good, y'all. Y'all know long. I just be halfway through now. Y'all know that. And besides, I ain't seen y'all in quite some time. So forgive me. Isaiah 28, we're going to pick it up. At verse 9, Isaiah 28 and 9. Can you get it? Go ahead. Whom shall he teach knowledge, and whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Wait a minute. Whom shall he teach knowledge, and whom shall he make to understand doctrine? 
Nice question. Listen to the follow-up. Go ahead. Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast, a precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, here little and there little. For dream must be upon dream and vision upon vision, here little and there little. Is that what that say? No, that's not what that But it asks the question, to whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make to understand that? You got to do it precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little and there a little, just like we've been doing. Right. Not no dream, not no vision, not establishing your own righteousness. Go ahead. For with stammering lips and another tongue will he speak to this people. Now look, if you read people that's on that language thing, you read them this and ask them a question. Is Isaiah, Isaiah uh, lying? Isaiah the prophet lying? I just want to know. The Lord said he was going to do it. Isaiah got it over here. Uh, is everybody lying and your dream and your vision is the right one? Everybody else got it wrong. You got it right and no proof to back up what you're saying. Go ahead. To whom he said, this is the rest wherewith he may cause the weary to rest. And this is the refreshing that they would not hear. But good, what? that's good. Let's go on over to John 8 chapter. This is why you can't hear. See, you can speak the same language. You can speak the same language with somebody, mm -hmm. but they ain't got no understanding. You could talk, and it don't matter nothing. Look, I even told one brother, hey man, look, if you show up, I'll pay you gas money for you to come. No, can't do that one, brother. But if I say, hey, there's a game on or a fight on, hey, we got plenty, plenty to drink. Hey, I got the gas cover. What time is it, man? You know, what what do I need to bring? Where do I need to show up at? I'll be there. Fools hate knowledge, though. John 8, chapter, pick it up at 38. And when you get it, go ahead. I speak that which I have seen with my father, and ye do that which ye have seen with your father. And this is what time it is. They are doing what they seen and heard of their father, and Jesus is letting them know, I do that which I heard from my father. Go ahead. They answered and said unto him, Abraham is our father. Jesus said unto them, if you were Abraham's children, you would do the works of Abraham. Look, if you were, we got people out there we are Abraham, they always put Abraham up there, but they ain't doing the work that Abraham did. Thank you. Thank you. But they will tell you this, like, they must don't know this is here. <laughs> yeah, they, they, get, they, they give all type of honor to Abraham. Hey, man, we follow after Abraham. Uh -huh. Well, why are you saying you ain't got to keep the commandments of God? Go ahead. But now ye seek to kill me, a man that had told you the truth, which I have heard of God. This did not Abraham. You do the deeds of your father. Then said they to him, we be not born of fornication, we have one father, even God. They always trying to match. How you going to match wits with the man? Yeah. <laughs> one that created you. You know, Whoa, the know. robot going to tell the one that created, you know, Frankenstein going to tell the one where he got his name from that made Frankenstein, you know, how it's supposed to be. No. How you going to tell the creator of all things? Thank you. How it's supposed to be. Yeah. You're going to check him on some scripts. Right. We be not a fornication. We have one God, even father, and one, one father, even God. <laughs> Go ahead, check it out, though. Jesus said unto them, If God were your father, you would love me. For I proceeded forth and came from God. Neither came I of myself, but he sent me. If the Lord showed up and started telling these people, Hey, you got to keep the laws of God. You, you got to keep the dietary law. You got to keep the Sabbath day. Don't you know they were trying to kill them all over again? But guess what? 
he, he ain't giving them the chance to say all that this time. He come to do the there killing you now. Go. Hey, hey. You know, the roles done reversed a little bit. A little bit. We ain't getting ready. The type of conversation we gonna have, we gonna duke it out. And you can't lay a glove on. That's right. And just think, lack of knowledge gonna convince the people on this earth to fight against the man. You see? That's right. They, they gonna be convinced, hey, I know we hate each other, but guess what? We got a greater threat. Earth is under attack. Let's get together. I want to be right over there in the wilderness watching all that. Thank you very much. Boy, they show is stupid. <laughs> didn't, they, didn't they get the email? Didn't they get the text? Then they look on them iPads and all that stuff on the internet and know that the Lord, look, you got a movie out there and one is playing the son of Satan and one is playing uh, the, uh, Satan himself. And the son tell him, he say, you know, in the Bible, you knew. The son is telling Satan, you knew. And Satan, the one playing Satan say, hey, but consider the source. Well, I'm telling you, consider the source how it's going to go. He better than thousands. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Consider the source. It's the spoke out, it's the came out the Lord's mouth. It cannot come back boom. That's right. He said he's going to come kill it. And if you are found on the wrong side, you're going in the fire. That's it. The Lord ain't going to have a bunch of wicked people in this king and give him the power that he got right. and turn over all that he have and, and let them rule with him right. to a bunch of wicked people. Right. Right. Go ahead. Why do you not understand my speech even because you cannot hear my word? Ye are of your father the devil and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speak a lie, he speaketh of his own. But he is a liar and the father of it. That's why you can't understand me, because you are of your father, Satan, and devil. That's right. And you ain't going to understand. You not going to understand. Satan himself, no, he only got a short time. That's right. Look, you will not understand nothing I'm saying if you have these the items in your mind and, and your father is safe and you are out here doing everything contrary to the word of God. Let's go on over here to uh well read that verse 47. He that is of God hears God's words. Ye therefore hear them not because ye are not of God. That's simple and plain, right? Yes, sir. That's why the people don't understand. I don't care how much you try to show them simple things. If you will enter into life, keep the commandments, they can't grasp. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which commandment? Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal. All those. But you can't meet it, even though you can read it. You see, but you don't see. You hear and you don't hear. Simple stuff. You can't count to three. Let's go on over here to uh, Ezekiel the 14th chapter. We only got a few more, y'all. They need they real short. Ezekiel 14. And one. Ezekiel 14 and one. Go ahead. Then came certain of the elders of Israel unto me and sat before me. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, these men that set up their idols in their heart and put the stumbling block of their iniquity before their face, should I be inquired of at all by them? Therefore speak unto them and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God. Every man of the house of Israel that set it up in his Set it up his idols in his heart 
and put the stumbling block of his iniquity before his face and come into the come into the prophet I the Lord will answer him that cometh according to the multitude of his idols. Look, the Lord is going to be the one to answer according to the idols up in his mind. He got all these idols. The Lord is going to answer according to every one of them. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. That I may take the house of Israel in their own heart because they are all estranged from me through their idols. Skip on down to verse uh, 9. And that the prophet be deceived when he has spoken a thing. I, the Lord, have deceived that prophet. And I will stretch out my hand upon him and will destroy him from the midst of my people, Israel. That's clear, right? Yeah, Let's go on over here to 2 Corinthians, the fourth chapter. You think Satan ain't got a part in this thing? Anything contrary to the word of God. Anything. It is of Satan. Then the Lord tell Peter, get behind these Satan. If you ain't gonna die, wait a minute. If the Lord don't die, guess what? We are still yet dead in our sin. And if he don't die, he wasn't the one. Think ye not that I could pray to my father, he would send me 12 legions of angels? I don't know how many thousands of But he all, you know, he, he one that can kill 185,000. We know that for a fact. He took out the whole Assyrian army in one night. You know what's funny about that? They say when they woke, they, they were all dead men. Well, it wasn't too many of them woke. It, it had to be talking about stuff that, they, that, that was being attacked when they woke. The rest of them, the Syrian army, it, they were all dead men. 2 Corinthians 4, chapter, pick it up in verse 1. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. Go ahead. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Look, if the thing is hid to them, I don't care how much you try to show it to them. If it's hid to them, they are lost. That's simple. They are lost. They don't have a clue. That's right, brother. That's why you can't even tell Israel nothing about yourself. Can't tell them nothing. Even how to count to three and to seven. <laughs> Even that Santa Claus is pagan. Right. Or Christmas is paganism. Or Easter is paganism. That's right. That's right. And that, hey, it is not okay to deal with Halloween. That's right. right. No, it's not. And it is not okay to deal with prostitution or adultery. That is not cool. What the young people say, that is not how you turn it up. You know, that's the young people saying that we're going to get turned up. Yeah, and the fight. Up and over. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. In whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. For we preach not Look. ourselves. In whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is in the image of God, should shine unto them. That's why that light can't penetrate. That's right. Because Satan is blinding them. Blinded them. So no matter what you say to them, they can't hear because they lost. Why? Because Satan is blind. Make it clear, make it clear. But they had the choice. Amen. Same choice they had in the God. Same choice. Let's go on over here to, we just got three, four more. They short too. Jeremiah the third child. Now we only got, well, we still got four more. That's okay, that's all, that's what, you just know what I was looking for. Jeremiah three and 14. Look what he say about it.
He must mean it because he done said this a couple of times about it. Go ahead. Turn, O backsliding children, says the Lord, for I am married unto you, and I will take you one of a city, two of a family, and will bring you unto Zion. And I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Look, the Lord is going to give us pastors that feed us Amen. with knowledge and understanding. Amen. Go ahead. And it shall come to pass when ye be multiplied and increased in the land in those days, said the Lord, they shall say no more the ark of the covenant of the Lord. Neither shall it come. That's good. Let's go on over. That's good. Let's go on over to Ecclesiastes. I got the point across. I'm going to cut it because I saw a couple of people following up their fits. <laughs> yeah, I missed it, brother, but you know what? <laughs> That's what they said. I missed it, but you know, come on, man. The sun go down early at night. What chapter? 12 and verse 9. Go ahead. And moreover, because the preacher was wise, he still taught the people knowledge, yet he gave good heed and set out and set in order many proverbs. Where did he get the knowledge from? From the scripture. From the word of God itself. He, did, he, he, he sought out these things. He did some studying. He searched it out. He didn't have a dream. It was not a vision. He wasn't telling you about himself. That Satan tried to stop him from getting up there. He should have. You weren't saying nothing. Go ahead. The preacher sought to find out acceptable words, and that which was written was upright, even words of truth. Wait a minute. That that was written was upright, even words of truth. And that is the Holy Ghost's job to lead and guide you into all truth, the Holy Ghost. Go ahead. The words of the wise are as golds, and as nails fastened by the masters of assemblies, which are given from one shepherd. And further by these, my son, be admonished. Of making many books, there is no end, and much study is the weariness of the flesh. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God, keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. That's good. That's simple, too. Let's go on over to Proverbs, the third chapter. Back right up to Proverbs, the third chapter. Only two more, y'all. Only two more. And they're real short. <clears throat> Proverbs 3 and 13. Proverbs 3 and 13. Go ahead. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom, and the man that getteth understanding. Look, happy is the man that findeth wisdom, yeah. and the man that getteth understanding. Yeah. Y'all know, man, when, when y'all got this word, you on the job, wherever you at, conversation going on, you uh, concerning the word of God, and you hear, you got the answer. Yeah. And you know every, you know the things that they talk about. You got to ask. Don't it make you feel good to have this wisdom and this knowledge? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You got it. Now all you need to do is do with it what he gave you to do with it. Go ahead. What we have, brother? Verse 14. 14. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver, and the gain thereof than fine gold. Look. This is way better than silver and fine gold. Right. Yeah. If you get this right, you, you can walk <coughs> in a city of pure gold, transparent as glass. I won't see that. Amen. You know, you see it on all the fake movies and all that. Mm -hmm. They had this city just gold and this, this glass is this mm -hmm. actually gold and diamonds and all that. But guess what? If you become into God's family, mm -hmm. your body is going to shine like that, Whoa. bright like a diamond. And I ain't talking about that song, neither. Mm -hmm. right. 
talking about real shine. Like Moses, when he came up off the Mount of Men, around the Lord, the speech, receiving instruction from the Lord, he had to put a veil on his face. They couldn't even look at his face. He was shining so bright. He, is, he had been around God. He had started taking on the form of him. He had been around him so much that lightning started to be there. There you go. I don't want that. I want to shine like that. If I shine like that, because I ain't talking about the shining in the fire. That, that, that's a different <laughs> color shine. That's not bright. That's orange and red and, and stuff like that. I want to be bright. Let's go over here to uh, Proverbs the ninth chapter. We got one more. Proverbs 9 and verse 8. Proverbs 9 and verse 6. Go ahead. Reprove not a scorner, lest he hate thee. Rebuke a wise man, and he will love thee. Look. It say, reprove not a scorner, lest he hate thee. If you rebuke a wise man, he will love thee. If you got a brother that says something or did something wrong, contrary to the word of God, a wise man, he gonna say thank you, because the last thing he want to do is say or do something contrary to the word of God. He gonna love you for that. Thank you, brother, for that correction. Now, I learned something. Now, I ain't gonna do that no more. I was doing or saying something contrary to the word of God, and hey, I was getting myself in trouble. A wise man will love thee. Go ahead. Give instruction to a wise man, and he will be yet wiser. Teach a just man, and he will increase in learning. Guess what? When somebody told you did something wrong, and sh not just tell you, showed it to you, you just increased your learning. You know you can't do that no more. Or you know what you said or what you what you thought or what you perceived to be was not true. Go ahead. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. Ain't that something? Amen. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy, See? that is understanding. Amen. That's major. This is last. Job's 28th chapter. Job 28. We're going to pick it up at verse 1 and 2 and we're going to skip. Job 28, verse 1 and 2. And this is that. Go ahead. Surely there is a vein for, for the silver and a place for gold. Where they find it? Where they find it? Iron is taken out of the earth, and brass is molten out of the stone. Skip all down to verse 12. But where shall wisdom be found? But where, where shall wisdom be found? Go ahead. And where is the place of understanding? And where is the place of understanding? Where shall wisdom be found, and where is the place of understanding? Go ahead. Man knoweth not the price thereof, neither is it found in the land of the living. The Wait a minute. It says... But where should wisdom be found, and where is the place of understanding? Man knoweth not the price thereof, neither is it found in the land of the living. Go ahead. The depth saith, it is not in me, and the sea saith, it is not with me. It cannot be gotten for gold, for gold, neither shall silver be weighed for the price thereof. You can't even put gold or silver and measure it up against this wisdom. Go ahead. Cannot be valued with the gold of Ophir, with the precious onyx or the sapphire. Look, it don't even compare. It cannot even be compared to this thing. This wisdom. Go ahead. The gold and the crystal cannot equal it, and the exchange of it shall not be for jewels of fine gold. No mention shall be made of coral or of pearls, for the price of wisdom is above rubies. Look, this wisdom is above all that. Amen. This wisdom. Thank you. Go ahead. The topaz of Ethiopia shall not equal it, neither shall it be valued with pure gold. Whence then cometh wisdom? And where is the place of understanding? The question is asked again. Whence then cometh wisdom, and where is the place of understanding? Skip on down to verse 23. God understandeth the way thereof, and he knoweth the place thereof. God understandeth 
the way there, and he knoweth the place there. Verse 27, go ahead. Then did, I, then did he see it and declare it. He prepared it, yeah, and searched it out. And unto man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. And to depart from evil is understanding. That's simple, ain't Amen. And unto man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. And to depart from evil, that is understanding. So I thank you, and I hope somebody got something from that. Is that it? Sir. Nothing else? We can stand for you and we'll close up. Our Father which art in heaven. Our Father which art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth. Thy will be done in earth. As it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Give us this day. Give us this day. Our daily bread. Our daily bread. And forgive us our debts. And forgive us our debts. As we forgive our debtors. As we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. But deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, the is the kingdom and, the power, and the power, and the glory forever. And the glory forever. In Jesus' holy and blessed name we pray. In Jesus' holy and blessed name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord God of Israel. Praise the Lord God of Israel. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.